All right, this is the beginning of a video tutorial on a very simple aquaponic system you can set up at your house. Uh, this would be great for beginners or even experienced people if you want to have something near your house. Uh, it's simple uh, 250 gallon whoever made uh, stock tanks and then inside of there I have a 150 gallon rubber made stock tank and I simply have a one water pump coming up and going splitting to each bed and a bell siphon these are flood and drain gravel beds uh, we're gonna talk about this one this one's uh, actually gonna double as a greenhouse and it also I kind of went overboard and put it on wheels hello Lucy uh, so this one is actually mobile. I can actually roll it around to wherever the sun is best Depending on the time of year, but I also have to move every three or four years So after I built my last system and then had to destroy it when it was time to move this one I can actually just Give away the fish drain it pour the gravel into the bottom and actually slip those containers into the bottom bed And then put the boards back down. I would have to take off the roof and probably try to try to save the panels and stack the wood somewhere or just recycle it But this will be highly mobile little system this one's only a month and a half old so it's not anywhere near mature yet uh, up here in the top center I have a uh, prototype of a new type system I'm trying to come up with I'll see if it works or not it's just like a regular NFT system except for this one actually flood and drains just like a flood and drain bed there's actually draining right there to the extremely aggressive bubbles so I set it up where it'll suck air in there and makes it in really well. So that's more air to the system. Uh, there's my other bell siphon draining on one of my beds. And right now I have started off with two large goldfish and three koi. And once the system matured, I got 15 more goldfish, of which those are just little feeder goldfish that have doubled in size in the last month and a half. Uh, and I don't have 11 of them left. Uh, turned out, I couldn't figure out what it was, because they just seemed like they were all happy and healthy and all of a sudden you see one is dead. Uh, pretty sure it's because the kids were out here. One of the mini kids was grabbing them and squeezing them a little bit. But as you can see, uh, these guys are all fat and healthy and happy. Uh, some of the bigger fish have got names. <laughs> and then uh, with the Rubbermaid Black, the black rubber made uh, stock tanks. All the goldfish show up pretty well in here. And that's even with the water being severely tinted as it is right now. I used uh, some seaweed extract. So anyways, I'm gonna have a bunch of future videos coming out talking about this system. Uh, things I did to make it super low maintenance, super simple to operate, and something you can do yourself at your house. It'd be great for a first system. And this is my second system, but it's still going to be fun. And I'll show you what I did. If you're a renter or move often, uh, this, a little system like this on wheels can be very beneficial for you. Uh, normally a normal garden system takes three to five years to build the soil up to a good level. Uh, something like this takes usually six months to a year. So. You can actually uh, get some production going up and faster everywhere you go and you don't have to start from scratch every time if you make it mobile and on wheels like this. So if you're interested, you may want to stay tuned. So over the uh, coming months, uh, I'm going to show go over different things like pump selection, uh, amount of grow bed, flood and drain space selection versus the size of the tank. Uh, everything like even the, the material type that the beds are made out of I'm gonna go over like planting uh, am proper amount of fish feed aeration uh, modifications I made to the pumps to make them lower maintenance and increase their uh, effect effective amount of water they can pump out I'm gonna go over everything I can think of uh, even a design that I integrated into the system because I'm in Mobile Alabama now so it gets a uh, well into the triple digits very often during the summer and you also don't want your system to overheat so uh, I kept that in mind while I was building this and designing it uh, here's a little beer bottle opener 
but I also have uh, some shelf storage space. I integrated it on the both ends. Uh, so I'm going to cover it all. And at one point I'll probably pop this panel off and show you how I built the structure to withstand all the weight of all that gravel and water. And considerations I did even for the roof. I mean everything. I'll give you the whole nine yards and uh, to help you to either copy or better design your own system that's best for your location. So uh, subscribe to stay tuned.